You're listening to the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network. Welcome to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. Broadcasting now from the virtual C344 studios overlooking the edge of Coconut Avenue is your host, award-winning and best-selling author, Dr. Stephen Lesovich. Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Lesovich, out there in the edge of everything. This episode is entitled, How Well Do You Handle Rejection? There was a dog named Dottie in the Almatian mix that lived at the Hillbrae Rescue Kennels in the UK. According to Anna Garrett at My Modern Met, Dottie was viewed over 10,000 times for adoption over a six-year period. And not a single person, not a single person, wanted to adopt Dottie. Not one. Now, on our blog post at slesovich.com, I have a picture of Dottie the Dalmatian mix. I challenge anyone who is listening to this podcast if they go to slesovich.com and look at that picture of Dottie on my blog post, not to smile. Even after 10,000 rejections, you can still see the energy, the enthusiasm, and the love in the face of this dog. After 10,000, imagine that, 10,000 viewings and 10,000 rejections, nobody adopted Dottie. She was called Britain's loneliest dog. Yet Dottie never stopped wagging her tail at the kennel. Now my blog post on slesovich.com is also a link to a story the Daily Mirror in the UK did about Dottie. Fortunately, a short time after the story was published, Ed and Janice Darrell adopted Dottie and made her a permanent part of their family. Now I ask you, could you overcome being rejected 10,000 times? What kind of rejections have you faced in your life? Have you faced rejections for a creative project? Have you been rejected in a professional situation? Have you been rejected in a relationship, by family, by friends? How have you responded to those rejections? There is an old saying, rejection is God's protection. Do you believe this saying is correct? If you were rejected 10,000 times trying to do something, would you give up hope? Or would you make a 10,000 and first attempt to try again? Or would you feel sorry for yourself or feel like you are a victim? Remember, you often experience rejections in your life for your own protection. Rejections cause us to learn, grow, and become better people. So how can you address rejection in your own life? Consider these three things. Number one, acknowledge the rejection. Acknowledging the presence of the rejection and its components is the key to understanding it, processing it, and letting it go. Acknowledge the presence of absence of something in your life as the result of the rejection. If you do try to ignore or suppress the rejection, it will resurface in your life in a negative way. For example, as an illness with negative emotions such as depression, anxiety, sadness, anger, fear, etc. Openly acknowledge the feelings, emotions, and circumstances that led to the rejection. Number two. View the rejection with discernment. Discernment is seeking the truth about the rejection without judgment and without being influenced by the behavior of others. There are two sides to every rejection. Take some time to view both sides of the rejection with discernment. Be honest with yourself and your role in the rejection. Number three, take responsibility for your side of the rejection. After acknowledging the rejection and viewing it with discernment, Take responsibility for your side of the rejection. Treat the rejection as a growth experience and an opportunity to embrace something new in your life. Then let it go and move on. Just realize it will take some time to overcome the rejection, depending on the type of rejection you're going through. For example, an article in Psychology Today suggests it will take an average of about 11 weeks to recover from a rejection related to a relationship. The next time you are rejected in any situation, pause, take a deep breath, smile, and think about this podcast and Dottie the Dalmatian that was rejected 10,000 times but then was adopted. 
Dottie ended up in a better place. So can you. Believe it. Till next time, I'm Dr. Stephen Lesovich, out there on the edge of everything. You have been listening to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. For more information on your host, Dr. Stephen Lesovich, please visit slesovich.com. For more information on prior and future shows, please visit coconutavenueradio.net. This is the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network.